3, 2, 1. Salut tout le monde, c'est Gabo. Aujourd'hui, on se retrouve sur ma chaîne YouTube. Aujourd'hui, on est avec maman. C'est un peu comme la question est-ce que tu peux aller à la Way back from school. Italy, a land as rich in history and culture. Hello everyone, this is Hayama no Kantan Katakana Ehkaiwa. This time I'd like to show you micro cars in Europe, especially uh, France and Italy. Uh, ま、現地では70万円くらいから購入できるというので、若者たちにすごく評判がいいんですね。で、これレンタルもあるし、カーシェアリングもあるんですね。これびっくりしました。4輪原付きで高速道路とか幹線道路は運転できないって言うんですけ
The German-based Smart Automotive manufacturer has established itself as the market leader for microcars designed for urban environments, and the latest model, the 4.2 electric drive, incorporates battery technology into the already familiar form, since a number of improvements have been of 78 miles per hour. The biggest changes, though, have been with the battery technology. It was developed with assistance from Tesla, and it takes just a couple of hours to achieve a full charge, with an 80% fast charge possible within half an hour. Aixen City Based in France since it was incorporated in 1983, Aixen has always focused on the development of microcars, specifically for use in cities, and after being acquired by Polaris in 2013, they are now committed to only producing fully electric vehicles. The leading design is called the Aixen Tree. Measuring just 9 feet long, 5 feet wide and 6 feet中に<笑> この方はこの自作の車で日本一周をしているそうです。Ship City Cars Me Revealed in 2019, British company City Cars designed the Mi in response to increasing restrictions in the country's cities surrounding vehicle emissions. Available in either a passenger car, box van or pickup truck style, the 72 volt electric motor gives the vehicle a top speed of 48.5 miles per hour, and the 10 kilowatt hour battery means it has a maximum range of dimensions to make this a real space saver, and claimed that it means it needs less than half the space to park in a traditional car. And if parked at 90 degrees to the curb, you can actually fit three of these vehicles into a base model available from around $10,000. Mitsubishi i Miev EV First announced by Mitsubishi in 2009, the i Miev electric vehicle is a five-door hatchback designed for corporate and family use in urban environments. Measuring 11 feet long, just under 5 feet wide and 5 and a quarter feet tall, it has a 47 kilowatt permanent magnet motor and is fitted with a 16 kilowatt hour lithium iron battery. The company used batteries that can be recharged much quicker than other models. It's possible to reach 80% capacity in 15 minutes, for example, when you can charge 25% in just 5 minutes. This, along with the fact that the iMiev has an increased passenger or storage capacity in comparison to other electric microcars, makes it a seriously attractive option for regular users. Citroen Ami. French manufacturer Citroen has entered the electric microcar market with an ingenious design called the Ami, that in France can be driven by anyone from the age of 14. At just 8 feet long, 4.5 feet wide, and boasting a turning diameter of just 23.5 feet, the Ami is a two-seater vehicle with a passenger sitting behind the driver. Featuring a lithium-ion battery that can be fully charged in three hours, the electric motor generates 8 horsepower, so the car has a top speed of 28 miles per hour, and a range of 43 miles. But the thing that's most surprising is just how cheap an option it is, costing less than $10,000 to own outright, but everyone. Polaris Gem E2 
Polaris has become one of the most creative companies within the electric vehicle space. And while they offer a range of longer distance vehicles, their truly groundbreaking work has been with short distance cars. The current model, the Gem E2, is a two-seater car that's just eight and a half feet long, four and a half feet wide, and six feet tall motor, which produces 6.7 horsepower and with its top speed of 25 miles hours. With prices starting at around $10,000, Polaris has created an easily affordable Lexus LF SA. In 2015, Lexus displayed a new electric microcar concept at the Geneva Motor Show, and while it's not yet in production, it shows just where the company thinks the design of this type of vehicle will go in the coming years. At 11 feet long, 5.5 feet wide, the cabin, including the way that the driver's seat is fixed in place, and the steering wheel and pedals are, instead, adjusted for their comfort. With a hologram-style infotainment system and a wide-angle heads-up display, the LFSA looks make it truly feel like a futuristic vehicle, while retaining its zero-emissions credentials. Highly manoeuvrable and lightweight, the electric version will have a top speed of 40 miles per hour, with a range of up to 100 miles. 今月の28日土曜日からジャパンモビリティショーですかが開催されますよね。まあ、今回どんな車やあモビリティがあるのか楽しみです、えー。ここではご紹介できなかったんですけど、今世界が大変なことになっていて、EV ならばバッテリーで、えー動くのでエンジンではないのでいろんな会社もできていていろんなデザインの携帯のものがありますバイクなのか車なのか何なのかわからないような携帯のものまで様々出ていますこれからどんな車が出てきて、まあ、空飛ぶ車とか空飛ぶバイクとかもうわけわからなくなってきますよねさて日本でも免許なしに車が乗れるようになるのかななんて思いますけど、日本はいろいろ厳しいので、狭い国なので、それは不可能かもしれません。それではまた、I see you later. Bye.